guys. It's 7.10 a.m. Saturday morning. I uh, uh, 126 sales listed today, so not a bad day. Uh, it's really my goal just to bust my butt and hit as many sales as possible today. It's been, uh, the last couple weeks have been pretty unimpressive for me, so I, I could really use a good day. Mainly to get my spirits up. I kind of, when it, this kind of happens, I get kind of down and I'm just like, ah, I don't really feel like going out. I always will. I'll, I'll, like I said last time, I'll, uh, I'll force myself to get out there, but uh, it's a lot more fun when I'm excited to do it. Uh, so yeah, somebody on my Facebook page said, you're going to find Chrono Trigger today. And I replied, I said, yes, I am. So today we're going to find Chrono Trigger. It's going to happen. Um, yeah, like I said, 126 sales. Um, right now I'm actually just waiting for a neighborhood sale to get going. Uh, eight o'clock listed time. It's like I said, it's just a, about quarter, quarter after seven now. Um, I always, I like to go early to see if there's anybody kind of setting up. Um, quick tip, if, uh, you know, if you approach a sale and somebody's setting up, a lot of times they'll, um, not a lot of times, once in my life did somebody say, oh, we're not ready yet, it says eight o'clock. Some people, some people will get mad and they'll say like no early birds in their ad or whatever. Uh, if that happens, just, I always, even, no matter what, I always just approach and say, so, you know, sorry, I'm bothering you before, uh, you're set up here. And they're usually like, oh, that's fine. Um, or, you know, if it comes down to it, you can just say, you know, I was just happened to be driving by, I didn't notice the time. The last thing you want to do is actually irritate somebody before you try and, uh, uh, make a deal with them. So obviously they're going to be far less likely to give you a deal if you've, uh, agitated them in any way. So. Uh, just a tip, um, like I said today, I, I've really got to hustle, so I, I need to be out here at 7 a.m. Unfortunately, this is how it works sometimes. You go out early and uh, you could spend the first hour of the day sitting in your car uh, hitting zero sales. But um, that's one of the risks you have to take. You got to get up early to uh, make the good scores. And um, yeah, let's uh, let's see how we do today. Hopefully we do very well. and. Uh, we get that Chrono Trigger, we will get that Chrono Trigger. All right guys, it's now 7.30 and uh, garage doors are starting to open up. People are starting to pull out tables, pull the cars to the streets. So it's a, a sign that people are kind of getting ready to move here. I hit one sale. And I picked up these two uh, Wii, what were they called? Wii Classic Controllers, two for $4. Uh, not a bad deal. Decent way to start the day, I guess. Better than nothing. Dude, cousin, 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 So it's about 20 to 10. It, the day has been a complete bust. No Chrono Trigger yet. Um, I did pick up some really nice vinyl here. Uh, just some stuff that you typically don't see. Um, a lot of hard rock, some Motley Crue, um, ZZ Top, uh, Helix. So uh, lot, some heavy metal, hard rock, just stuff that you normally don't see. Um, so I will be taking the show on the road. Uh, I'm going to head up to the cottage with the family and uh, I'm going to try and stop at as many sales as possible on the way up. It's actually a pretty good tactic. Um, there was a ton of sharks out right now. Oh, I may as well show you. I'm sitting in my driveway. 
check out my nice flowers that I uh, have no idea what they're called. Um, anyways, uh, I'm going to take the show on the road. There's, I met another person today who recognized me and uh, was out garage selling. It's the th like the third person in the last three weeks that has recognized me and is out looking for video games. So I possibly may have shot myself in the foot. Um, people are kind of... No, I'm sure, you know, these people were doing it before, but, um, you know, my videos of me picking up all that stuff um, have kind of got more popular locally, so people know that I'm doing it in this area. So I don't know if it's got a couple more people out there, but I feel like it was gone, it's gone from about maybe three to four people to about ten. So it's, uh, I think the competition's, um, it, there's getting more and more people out there. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to take the show on the road. I'm going up to Southampton, Ontario, beautiful uh, little beach town near Sobble Beach, and uh, we'll see what we can find. Said, I think he said he was. I think he was still Dad, working. Mama Star Wars, gone, but I mean, Daddy. What's that? I don't know. It's all Mama gone. That's the thing. I think if we don't tell him, he won't even know. Don't say anything. Um, yeah. So no on that. What about any? Do you have any like N64s or anything like that, or would this be? I think no. We. I read really the game to you earlier today. Okay. Um, PlayStation 2, yeah. That was gone. Good. I think my 64 is long gone, right? We sold that. Uh, okay, must have minute. sold that a while back. Um, I don't think that's good. No cool. Genesis or anything? Not anymore. No. Okay. All stuff that has been here in the past. Yeah. <laughs> there, yeah, but he wanted to tie, wanted to keep the other, the green one, right? Didn't it? Oh, I don't know yeah. why. Now I know the yellow one for sure. They oh, they both work. The purple one just doesn't have the back to yeah. it. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, he said he was saying he wanted to keep the green oh, one careful. before, but um, uh, what would you want for this stuff? I have no idea what it's worth. So. Um, and you said he wants this. Should I call him and see if he? Yeah, I can give I'll give him a quick call and yeah. see. Okay. Okay guys, on the way to the cottage, like I said, I took the show on the road. Kids are in the back. Say hi, Andrew. Hi. Teddy, say hi. Oh, that was kind of, there you go. So in uh, Listowel, Ontario, uh, stopped at a sale. Check out this cool 80s, what does it say, game tote. Um, just kind of followed a sale down the road and uh, picked up, I'm trying to get a good view here, a bunch of handheld stuff. Uh, I was playing this already, yellow Game Boy Color. This is the first one I've ever found in the wild. Uh, as many of, you, many of you guys know, I was searching for this. For, this is the last color that I actually got from my collection. Um, some really good Kirby games in here. I'm not going to go through them all, but uh, you can see those three games, um, some Nickel Fritz DS titles, um, some more original Game Boy games in there, I think that's Mario 64, not bad, a purple Game Boy Color, a silver OG DS, um, I had to pay a little bit, that was 25 bucks for everything here, so uh, I'll go over all the games when we get back. Yeah, that's exactly oh, what I'm looking for. Oh, right. My boys are just getting to the age. Oh, I see. And these are a little more durable than the, the DS. Oh, okay. I'm worried they're going to break it. So. Okay. Um, these are going to break it. Would you take like 10 bucks for these? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. Would that too? Yeah, yeah, awesome. throw that in. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. 
Well, I'm glad you passed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. I thought you meant like the system that attached to the TV. I did. Oh, okay. Game Boys. Too. That'll yeah. work too. Yeah. All right. Well, thank, thank you, you very so much. much. You're welcome. Thanks. No Power Rangers, okay. <laughs> All right, guys, CJR here, back at the house after a uh, what was pretty a pretty slow weekend to begin with, and um, as you guys saw, I decided to uh, take the show on the road and go up to um, up to the cottage and see what I could find on the way. I'm actually going to do the same thing this weekend. I'm going to be filming probably in um, Huntsville, Ontario, and possibly. Uh, Gravenhurst, Ontario. Um, it's up in cottage country. I'm going to be up there, so I'm going to take a make an attempt at garage sailing up there. So I'm going to get into this stuff here. I'll quickly go through this vinyl that I found. It um, it was far more than I would normally pay. I'd normally get these for probably this stack for five bucks, but I'm paid like more than more like a dollar dollar ten each. What is it, bud? Why don't you come over here and show your turtle to everybody? Your uh, frog, I mean. Come here and show everybody your frog. Come over here quick. Come over here and show everybody your frog. I, uh, we went to a market um, up in Cottage Country called uh, Kiwi Livestock Market for those of you that have been there. And um, I picked this up for Andrew here so I told him he could show it. Say hi. Show everybody your Superman underwear? Look. Yeah, Superman. What does Superman do? Help people. Helps people, that's right, buddy. Okay, let's show everybody how this works, okay? Yeah. Take it out. I'll hold it and you do it, okay? You do it from the sand. Okay, no, you hold it with the sand. Hold it. Okay, now show everybody how it works. Okay, good boy. That's perfect. Okay, awesome. Yeah. So that's Andrew's turtle. That was eight bucks. I thought it was really cool. I just walked by and a lady was uh, making that sound with it. Um, I believe she said they're made in Thailand, or Th I believe Thailand, um, for eight bucks. Carved out, hand carved out of wood. Pretty darn cool. Okay, you gonna go play with the Ninja Turtles? Yeah. Say bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. <laughs> okay, you go play. Um, okay, so back to the uh, the vinyl here. Uh, Leonard Skinner, Legend. Um, Ozzy Osbourne, No Rest for the Wicked. These are all in like mint condition. Uh, Deep Purple, Perfect Strangers. Judas Priest, Turbo. Just I'm not I'm not a big metal fan, like I said, but just finding this stuff is you don't see the stuff at garage sales. Um, Iron Maiden, Seventh Son of a Seventh Son. I know nothing about metal, not a, not a whole lot. Kim Mitchell, Akimbo El a logo. I don't actually have that yet. This is the one with Gopher Soda on it. Uh, the Kim Mitchell footage that I promised a couple videos ago. Andrew, just a minute. Um... I basically, I got, I forgot my camera, I drank way too much, and I ended up leaving early because I was tripping, and it was hot, and it was just not a good scene. I'm too old. Too old for concerts. Um, let's see. Uh, Rio Grande Mud. Z ZZ Top. Uh, Helix. Walking the Razor's Edge. Um, I believe this is a Canadian metal band, and I'm pretty sure there was like a there was like a, a documentary on this band. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Van Halen, um, self-titled album. Another ZZ Top, Eliminator. Two more here, guys. ACDC, Fly on the Wall, and Motley Crue, Motley Crue, Doctor Feelgood. Pretty awesome to find that. Like I said, pretty un uncommon to find that at garage sales. Uh, I think I paid 15 bucks for those, or just so just over a buck a piece. Um, I picked these up at a garage sale up north. Unfortunately, neither had a game in them, but they uh, this one did have the points. Yoshi's Island DS and Spectrodes, which is I believe a pretty decent game. <coughs> um, so they gave me the cases for free. 
Uh, you guys, you should have seen me pick these up. I think I got footage of them. Two classic Wii controllers for four bucks. I got a paper cutter for those uh, N64 end labels. Um, it's quite a chore. They come in just a sheet, but uh, I'm hoping that this will solve the problem of uh, cutting them all out. It takes a lot of time. Uh, let's see. Uh, which was the better of these bundles? Probably this one. I'll start with this one here. A um, GBASP bundle, two red systems, very good condition. They both work great with the uh, chargers. Two box games, Arcade Advance, Namco Collector Series, and uh, Frogger's Journey, the Forgotten Relic, Frogger game. And then a bunch of Snickle Fritz games here. Dora, Disney Princess, Cats, Sims 2, Crosstown Heroes. I don't know what that is. You probably can't see that very well. Hot Potato. Um, uh, Hot Wheels, World Race, and Something X. Those Hot Wheel games are actually really good, a lot like uh, F-Zero type games. Um, okay, so that, the systems. Um, basically, I, it was one of those things where I came up to the sale and I was like, Hi, I'm looking for old video games. Game Boys, Nintendo. No, I say Nintendos, Game Boys, Sega. The mom right away. Nope, nothing like that. So I keep listing, you know, like GameCubes, anything. And I may, always make this motion, the controller motion. So it hopefully peaks something in their mind. And she's going, no, right away, shooting me down. And the kid's nodding his head up and down. So I'm like, okay. And I start walking away, and I hear her say, oh, those? You want those? And she's like, we have old Game Boys. I'm like, that's exactly what I just said. It's, uh, I had just finished, we were talking about it on the way up, telling my wife that you have to, like, dig and, and constantly say, list systems before somebody will say, oh, we do have that. It's just, it's like pulling teeth sometimes. So she goes inside and comes out with a plastic tin full of that stuff, and um, she's just like, I'm like, what do you want for it? She said, I think 10 bucks, and um, yeah, no problems there. Uh, the kid was more than happy to get rid of it. He said that he wasn't, it was the old, he said it was way older than the 3DS or something like that, but uh, ended up being a great deal for 10 bucks. Is there a game in here? No. Um, before that, I found another pretty good bundle. Uh, I'll start off um, with the DS here. DS Fat, in actually pretty good condition. This might be better than the one I have, so I might swap it out. Uh, DS Fat, uh, let's see, Imagine Fashion Designer. This is the Metroid Prime Hunters demo game that comes with the, I'm guessing this is the Metroid Prime Hunters uh, GBA, or the Metroid Prime Pinball? I don't know, this is a Metroid Prime. Or a Metroid uh, bundle. Unfortunately, no box. That would have been great. A purple Game Boy Color. Missing the back, but in pretty good shape. And a gold. First gold I've ever actually found. Or uh, yellow that I've actually found in the wild. This was the last one that I needed for the uh, color collection. But um, I actually picked it up through a trade that I did last, I don't know, six months ago or something like that. So Funny that I finally found that at a garage sale. I don't know why, but... Seems like it would have been a popular color that would be more common. DS games, Brain Age, Brain Age 2, Fashion Studio Paris Collection, Miami Nights Singles in the City, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith, Super Mario 64 DS. Um, and a lot of those had points, so I, I got... <laughs> There's your first turtle power. Um, and uh, a couple games, other games here. Uh, Dragon Ball Z... Boo's Fury. Fury. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. I have to get a little closer here. Donkey Kong Land. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Duel Stories. Um, Harry Potter. I played this for a bit. It's kind of like a, it's an RPG. It looks actually pretty cool. The original Tetris. Kirby's Dreamland. Dig Dug. 
Uh, Kirby's Dream Land 2, which I think I picked up this year. I can't remember. And one that I know I don't have is uh, Kirby's Block Ball. And this game's actually really good. I couldn't believe how good the controls. It's an Arkanoid game. Um, basically where you have a little paddle at the bottom and it's scrolling back and forth and you hit the ball and it comes back down. But it's uh, really clever. I mean, this is a very good game. And the like I said, the controls, just using the D-pad to control the paddle at the bottom works really well. I'm really surprised with that. Um, anyways, that's it for uh, this week's pickups. Um, not a huge week once again, but... Thank God I found something on the way up to the garage, or up to the cottage. Ended up doing decently well. So, um, like always, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, do me a favor, check out the Facebook page um, in the link below. And um, what else? Uh, add me as a friend on um, uh, PSN, Xbox Live, and uh, Nintendo. Oh my God. Um, on. I can't think of the name right now for the Nintendo Online service. I'm losing it. Um, for the Wii U, CJR, S-E-E-J-A-Y-A-R-E. -E -E. Feel free to go ahead and add me. Uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And um, what will be coming up for you guys? Um, there'll be another video up on Tuesday for you guys to see. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Later. What are you doing, Ty? You playing a game? I'm playing. Yeah, you playing Game Boy. No. Don't touch that. You play the game, buddy.